Uh, so starting with some definitions. Uh, we have the process of writing a polynomial as products, two products of things, is called factoring. That's what we're doing. And factor and then factor again, and we'll see a couple examples of those. If you look at page 34 in your textbook, it has really nice examples of polynomials that are completely fast are open, so I apologize if you hear traffic going by. It just, it happens. All right, number one, we want to factor by removing the common factors here. Well, what does that leave us with? When we factor things out, it's really like we're dividing them out of this. So you can divide both of these by 5x squared, and that'll give you what you terms. And we see that they're all divisible by 3. So we're going to factor out a 3. And that's it. We can't take out any x's because the negative 3 doesn't have any x's. So when we factor out the 3, it's like dividing all of these by 3. So we're left with negative 1 plus 2x minus 4x cubed. We can't factor that any further. Um, that is a prime factorization. It's a prime factor, so we are done here. All right, this last one is maybe one an x plus 1. So we can factor out an x plus 1. What are we left with? Well, if we factor out an x plus 1, it's like dividing both of these by x plus 1. And that leaves us with x squared minus 2. Now, the next thing we want to look at is some special forms. Um, these are ones that you should start to recognize. Your last term is a perfect square, and your middle term is 2 times the first term times the last term. When that happens, 25. You can see that the first term is x squared, and the last term is 5 squared. So we've satisfied both of these. This is a perfect square trinomial. 2 times x times 5? Well, you bet. It's 10x. Okay, so this is a perfect square trinomial, so this would factor into x plus 5 squared. Now, you don't have to factor these problems this way if you want to use the um, what I call the umbrella method. I'll show you that on the back side of the notes, um, on the next page of the notes. Um, you can always do these with the umbrella method, but this is a nice shortcut uh, that you may be able to utilize. The second one's the same thing, except it's got uh, the minus sign here. That's where we factor it into a plus b, a minus b. That's called the difference of squares. So you should be familiar, familiar with that already. We're going to use that a ton. The last two are sum and difference of cubes, uh, which I do expect you to know. Um, we'll go into those more in detail on the next page of the notes. So we are first going to factor by removing the common factor here. So we have 100, I'm just going to be right here, 100 minus 4y squared. First, we want to see what do they have in common. Okay, what can we factor out of this? Um, these are both divisible by 4. I'm going to pull out a 4, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. 4y squared divided by 4 is y squared. Now, we are not done here, because in parentheses, that thing in parentheses, that can be factored.